Hello, friends, and welcome to the 2020 Alumni Reunion Weekend. Thank you for joining us for our first virtual reunion. This will be a brand new experience and an adventure for all of us. We can't think of anyone we'd rather share it with than you. The alumni website is going to be your new best friend all week long. Think of it as your home base as you explore all the different programs and events we'll be putting on. You're watching me on the website right now, so you obviously know how to find it. But if you want to write it down, get ready. Here it is, alumni.canton.edu slash alumni. One more time, alumni.canton.edu slash alumni. There, you've got it. You might also want to bookmark our Facebook page so you can keep up with the latest updates and activities. Are you ready to write this one down? Okay, here you go. It's facebook.com slash SUNY Canton alumni, all one word, all right? Facebook.com slash SUNY Canton alumni. We're also going to be sending out an email every morning through the week to let you know the schedule and remind you of all of the events that are taking place that day. So please, this is one time, check your email every day. We have so much planned and we really encourage you to join us for these great programs. Here are just a few of the highlights. We're going to have special class reunions for the classes of 1970, 1980, 1995, and our gold alumni, graduates of the last decade. There will also be a special class party for members of our Half Century Club. Since you can't be together in person, reminisce with your classmates from your own easy chair. Don't forget the refreshing beverage. There will also be school-based panel discussions where you can chat with the dean and the faculty from your school to find out what's new and what's going on in some of our most popular programs. Friday will feature a diversity discussion where you'll hear from our co-chief diversity officers on a variety of new initiatives to improve diversity and access for our students, and also how we are responding to the call for greater social justice and racial equality. And of course, one of the highlights of the week will be an all-class trivia party on Saturday night. We will end our week-long celebration with all alumni and friends at the laid-back and laughter-filled trivia party. Build your own team and you can compete to win SUNY Canton swag. So once again, welcome back to SUNY Canton, where your classmates and friends are waiting to celebrate with you in our new virtual alumni reunion universe. We are so glad to see you again. Hi everyone. Welcome to SUNY Canton's virtual reunion. I'd like to give you all a little update about what's happening on the campus. And so it won't surprise you that uh, we've spent a lot of time and a lot of effort on reopening the college so that our students can safely return for this fall. Our students had to self quarantine for a week before returning. And then when they returned onto the campus, they were all tested using a pooled saliva test that came from Upstate Medical University. The testing went very well. We tested more than 1,300 students and found only one who had the virus. And that student has since isolated and been released. So everything went very well. Since then, we've moved to surveillance testing to make sure that we don't get any surprise outbreaks on the campus. And this has involved additional um, saliva testing for um, randomized students. And we're also doing testing of the wastewater that comes from the residence halls. And I'm happy to tell you that in all of that testing, we have found no additional cases. And so uh, everybody's been entirely negative. I think, it's fair, I think it's fair to say that we've been a real leader in this effort within SUNY. It was a huge team effort. It required to you know, test this many people, the involvement of so many people around the campus to make it work. And we're also at the same time delivering a top quality education to our students. And we're doing this in an extremely safe manner. So I'm immensely proud of our campus and our students in helping make this possible. When SUNY was looking for some good news 
to publicize about the reopening of the campuses, of course, who could they turn to except SUNY Canton? With SUNY, what we've done is we've established a brand new athletic conference in the area of esports. And as I'm sure you know, SUNY Canton has been a leader in esports in New York State, within SUNY, and now across the country. And so we anticipate more than 30 other SUNY campuses are going to join us in this league, and it's going to be an opportunity for our students to have some safe fun during the pandemic. I'm also proud to tell you that we've moved up yet again in the US News rankings of the colleges. We're now in the top 20 in the regional colleges North category, moving up from 24 last year. We're also number 12 in best value regional colleges North, number 10 in best for veterans regional colleges North, and we were also classified as a tier one college by Educate to Career because of our flexibility and affordability in delivering education in a variety of formats due to the virus. So in closing, you can see that even in tough times, your alma mater is still a great place for students to be. No matter what challenges we face, we continue to do everything we possibly can to move forward and to be part of the solution. Thank you very much. Well, uh, welcome. Like Dr. Safran, I would like to welcome you to SUNY Canton's virtual reunion. As uh, I've just finished my first year at SUNY Canton, I haven't had the opportunity to meet most of you, but I do look forward to that once conditions allow. I am, however, a longtime SUNY employee, having worked within the system for the last 26 years. And I can honestly tell you that there is no place that I would rather be than at SUNY Canton. I've had the opportunity to work with an absolutely amazing group of people this year. Uh, we were one of the first campuses to fully pivot to online delivery last spring, and our uh, wonderful academic support services helped our students to achieve success. I have been incredibly impressed by the creativity and innovation of our faculty and staff. Faculty have done the hard work of figuring out how to translate their course content into online formats. They have developed their own videos. They have written detailed study guides. They've been available to our students. And for those who've had connectivity issues, they've even gone to the lengths of giving personal phone numbers out so that students can be in touch and get the help that they need. I'm in awe of our faculty who have confronted their fears about COVID-19 and are teaching face-to-face -face because they feel that that is the best way to deliver instruction. Our academic support services have restructured their hours and services to extend them into the evening to better serve our students who are learning remotely. The overarching principle that has guided our uh, planning throughout this period of transition was really what's in the best interest of our students and how can we keep them on track to a timely graduation, especially for our seniors. I have the privilege of working with a tremendous group of people. As Dr. Strand indicated, there was a lot of planning that went into preparing for this fall semester beginning back in May, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. Before our faculty departed for the summer, I asked them to engage in a planning exercise that explored their response to a variety of different teaching scenarios. These largely involved thinking about how to change their course formats to respond to social distancing and a likely abbreviated semester. and included thinking about things like what should be kept online versus what should be delivered face-to-face, -face, um, how they could capitalize on different class formats that are available, so things like hybrid, flexed, and merge modalities. Uh, I asked them to think about what kinds of training and resources they would need to retool their courses. I also asked them to think about what our students would need to be successful. Based on faculty and staff responses, we decided that for the fall, lecture-based classes would still be delivered in an online format. We also developed a prioritization for on-campus class scheduling that allows for effective distancing and safety. First on that list was activities and labs and practicals that are mandated by our accredited programs. Second was labs that would lose value if not delivered face-to-face. -face. And we also created a series of recitation sections or small group discussions for larger introductory classes 
particularly those that serve our first year students, so that we would have the opportunity to acculturate them to campus. And we created a new system of course codes to help our students access information on how their courses would be offered. And of course, our admissions and advising teams did the Herculean work of bringing in our class for the fall. Over the summer, the Center for Learning Design, Innovation, and Online Instruction continued to support our faculty in course redesign by offering more group sessions and, and uh, drop-in sessions in addition to uh, individual consultations. Most notably, the uh, Center developed a three-tiered training institute that guided faculty through all facets of online course development and helped them to create um, high quality, effective, and meaningful learning experiences for our students. And our library services assisted faculty in identifying open educational resources for use in their classes and in creating multiple ways for students to access materials remotely. Everyone on campus has really pulled together to keep us all safe. And every day that we are on campus and able to engage in our work with our students is truly a blessing. I hope you enjoy the programming Advancement has been able to develop for you in this first ever virtual reunion. And I look forward to welcoming you back to campus, I hope in the very near future. Take care. Wow, it's it's that time already again for reunion week. Well, you know what? I am so excited about it. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing everyone at the upcoming festivities, all of the events, all of the awesome programs that's planned for you. The staff and the, the team have worked really hard on bringing you guys back, showing you what SUNY Canton has going on. And you know what? I thought about a few of the times where students who were graduating, they would come up to me, they would hug me in tears saying, you know, goodbye PDOT. And you know what I would say to them? No, I'll see you soon. And guess what? I'll be seeing you this week and I look forward to it. Hope that you can join us, have fun, get to know everything that's going on on the campus and we welcome you back.